Hello! Today I thought I would share with you how I flatten my watercolor illustrations. This is my way, there's a lot of different ways and I will talk you through what I do and what others do. By the way, my name is Marianne Schell. I am an illustrator based in Denmark. I work as a freelance uh, commercial illustrator and I also sell my artwork on my own uh, website. So my way of doing this is uh, something that I figured out myself and now uh, doing some research for this uh, video I found out that there, is, there are many different ways. So I will show you my way and um, then I will link down uh, in the description all the links to other uh, videos so you can see and you can choose what fits uh, you the, the best. My work is done with watercolors and I almost always uh, finish it up with color pencils or other media so not all options I think work with me with my work. So what I use is some clean uh, paper sheets you can use uh, printer paper uh, in any size and you can I will show you later you will see what I mean I use a old uh, glass cleaner uh, bottle filled with water and I use a, a rug. Oh, and for the paper, I do not always use it, but in this case, because I only have two hands I, um, and not to look so clumsy, <laughs> I will use tape as well. Uh, you know, when you have painted with watercolor, uh, the illustrations tend to, or the paper, <laughs> sorry, tends to, to bug. In my case I use a very thick paper, 300 GSM, so it's not the worst case, but as you can see, it still buggles. So these two ones that I'm showing you are the ones I did for the Inktober challenge in October. This is a little bit worse, as so there's more um, the motive is uh, bigger and I have obviously used more water so this one really needs to be flattened out and the reason I do this is because I want my uh, work to look more professional and if I want to take pictures of it to put on my uh, website and my webshop uh, I, I'll need it to be totally flat so there is no uh, shadows or uh, buckling showing up. I also do it because uh, even I don't sell my work on, on my webshop, I will do it anyways because I need to, uh, if I want to put it on my portfolio or something else, I will need to scan it. And when you scan an uh, illustration or a painting that is uh, buckling, you will get all these shadows uh, that you will need to Photoshop away. Uh, so that's the why I do it with all, almost all of my paintings. And uh, the other reason, if I, for example, uh, paint a portrait uh, painting uh, and send it to the client, the client will want to frame this work and it will not look good if the painting behind the, the glass is is boggling and also casting some shadows so that's why and I thought this would be useful for you if you are starting to paint or if you do it as a hobby or you have intentions of selling your work as I do so let's get to it so this you see here uh, is just a wooden board uh, on laying on my working table. You don't need this. I have just put this here because this is the place that I have the best lighting and after I'm finished uh, with this I will put this uh, in another place so I can I can work on my on my table. Um, so what I have always laying around are some pieces of paper. I have a roll here. Uh, it's a roll of uh, IKEA 
paper for kids that I have some of them laying around and I have always these pieces uh, kept aside to, uh, to use for this purpose. You don't need to, but as this paper comes from a roll, I need to, to fasten them to my board, or in your case maybe just a table, so we don't roll back again on me. This, uh, with the paper, I always like to put some paper underneath the illustration as the illustrated part will, will go uh, on the table if I don't put anything in between and I want to, the area to be very, very uh, clean. So what I do is I put with a recycled bottle of uh, glass cleaner uh, thing <laughs> I put I have all this water in, in, in one like this and I use it also for, also for my illustration work so I guess you might have some something like this laying around as well. So what I do is to uh, put some water, not a lot, on the illustration in the back of course and then I take a rag, piece of textile and I take the worst, uh, the excess water off and normally I will do this on, the, on a table but I don't want to lay, lay this on the on a table because I have the paper and I, we don't need to, we don't need uh, water on the paper where we're going to lay the, the illustration on, if you get what I mean. So I take the excess wire off. We can finish it up in here on the table. So I will go with the taking with the with the cloth uh, or the how do you call this? A rag. <laughs> taking the excess wire, and I will just let this be here. And uh, what I do. If you have a, more than one painting, you can actually flatten more than one painting uh, in this way. So I will take my other um, illustration and put uh, water in, in the back of this one as well. So I will do this and you will not be able to watch me this time, but <laughs> you get the idea. So did you catch this? I was, uh, I didn't have a, a paper on the other, the first illustration that I laid down. So I have put a uh, paper. So we have a clean paper in between both illustrations. So now that I have put water on, maybe to see. I don't know how much you see, but it has a good amount of amount of uh, water. And I will take the excess water off. Just be careful that we don't get water underneath on the on the side where the illustration is. So I take the excess water. It's just the paper is just wet. It's not soaky wet. It's just the uh, has a little bit of humidity. 
So I put this on top of the other one with the paper, uh, some paper in between. And on top of this, I will put one piece of paper more. And if I can, see if I need some more tape, I guess not. So on top of this, I will put put a any you can put any kind of uh, board. I have a very thin board like this, and I put it on top. And the last thing that I need to do is to put a lot of weight on this. You can put anything that is heavy. I go for books and I try to distribute the, the weight evenly if I can. But of course the, the, uh, the board will help me with that. Like this. This one is really heavy, so I will put it in the middle. Something like this. And uh, usually I leave this for 24 hours. Um, you can try yourself how much time you need. I guess it also uh, depends on where you're living and how uh, the climate you're living in. So I usually uh, leave this for the next day and uh, the illustrations are uh, always flattened nicely out. So I will leave it here now or I will move the, the board to another table and uh, so I have my workspace free up, freed up again and get back tomorrow and see how it looks. For you it will be one second. While preparing for this video, I discovered that uh, there are some other um, ways of doing this. Uh, one other that I, I, I discovered includes uh, ironing the uh, illustration, where you put the illustration uh, again um, with the back up. So you put the, the illustration upside down and put some cotton uh, textile on top of it and iron it. Uh, you can also use um, a bowl with water and uh, with a pencil you take some water and put on the back of the illustration um, or you can also use um, a house sponge uh, clean of course and again putting in the water and putting the 
the water behind in, on the back of the illustrations. Um, I guess these methods would work with my um, type of uh, il illustration uh, as well, uh, except for the, this one. Um, I have uh, used the uh, iron in uh, very few cases, but I have to be very careful because uh, as my work includes uh, color pencils as well, and, and they, these can be uh, based on wax or other uh, materials, I don't know, know how they will react with heat, so I prefer not to try that. Maybe I should make some tests, uh, but if you um, try some of these methods, please let me know what is uh, best for you. Uh, I will be happy to see if there's any uh, other uh, method that I can use. Uh, as I said, uh, the, the one with the, the bottle uh, water uh, is the one that has worked uh, fine with me. And uh, this is an easy one and I have everything lying here at the studio. So um, yes, it's, that is my go-to method. Um, I hope you uh, like this video and you can this and that, that the information that I gave is uh, useful and somehow. Um, yes, please like, share and subscribe if you liked it. And um, until next time, bye.